Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, I just wanna do a real quick little short video, and I do mean quick and short, about my final thoughts on the Milner Hoffen Tool Co. If you haven't seen my previous videos on this product, I, I will leave a link to those in the description down below and up here. I went over everything, what they cut, what they grind, what they do, um, all that. I'll also leave a link to the company's website um, itself down in the description as well. Now I'll put this up front. This is not a sponsored video. Uh, this was given to me originally for free and then I tested it out, wore it out, and then I sent it off for a return to get a new one and this is what that this video is about. So part of this is this is a pretty expensive tool. It's meant to take the place of both some grinding wheels and cutting wheels. That's what makes it a unique product versus your other diamond cutting wheels. Your other diamond cutting wheels are a lot cheaper and this one is really premium. This is about as premium as you get, so it's definitely not for everyone. But one thing that it is for, it is for those who do not want to hassle around with, you know, pulling off a cutting wheel to put on a grinding wheel to grind off a burr maybe that you just made by cutting something off. Um, this kind of does it all in one. So it's both a cutting and a grinding wheel all in one. So it's got diamond on both the top and the bottom of the cutting blade and then it's got diamond on the edges as well. So that's a lot of diamond um, and as I did in my initial review video of it you can watch how that works and what my thoughts were on that. But so getting to more over to the point about what this is about for this video here is the return process. I am always skeptical if something sounds too good to be true, right? Okay, so you're telling me I buy this for, I believe uh, last, time, last time I looked at it, it was like 150 bucks for a grinding wheel. Okay, you're telling me I buy this for that much and then once I wear it out, I can just send it back to you and you'll fix it and then I'll get another one in return. Um, yeah, sounds too good to be true, right? Um, so I'm here to tell you, it's true. It worked. I, I, didn't, I didn't make any concessions. I didn't say, hey, I'm sending this back to you. There wasn't this, uh, the, this conversation about, hey, you know, specifically like, hey, I'm going to send this back to you and I am so-and-so and I'm making a review on this. No, I just sent it back with no info, just like your average Joe. They fixed it, they sent it back. That's it. All I had to do was send back the original thing in its original packaging and saying, hey, I wore this out. Please send another one to this address. And I got another one back. So um, that's a pretty hassle-free return policy uh, to be able to get something and get it back. And now, and I'll be the first to admit, and I'll admit this all the time, is I mean, I put this thing through its paces. I wore this, when I say I wore this thing out, I used it for everything that you probably shouldn't be using it for. It's meant for composites, not ferrous, ferrous metals, concrete, granite, tile, plastics, marble, and rebar. So that's a lot, um, but usually with these diamond, cut in, <laughs> diamond cutting wheels, like I had just recently, I did a graph black review, and you guys can check that link out here. I did a review video on a diamond wheel there, and in that review video, again, it wasn't really for my purposes. It was kind of set up for light gauge sheet metal work. Um, stuff like that, you, you would have done well, but as soon as I started jumping up to like quarter inch plate, I tried to saw off, you know, like quarter inch plate, like long ways, it, that was just, that was a waste of time. Um, it, it just, it did not hold up to that task. So this one here, I've buried this thing into two inch bar stock, one inch bar stock. I've buried it into a lot of different things. It's a fairly slow cut, but it still made the cut and still went to town um, and did it. Uh, one thing I will say about this, if you're gonna get this, and I said this in my initial review video as well, is that you do need a really good angle grinder. I don't think a Harbor Freight angle grinder is going to handle the amp draw that'll be associated with running a diamond wheel on it. So you may want to take and run a nice, uh, a nicer angle grinder that has a higher amp hour rating um, in order to take and use this tool. That's it. I'm going to leave you with that. Those are my final thoughts on it. I told you guys I'd get back with you with a video uh, with my final thoughts after we went through the return process. And here it is. So uh, take it with what you will. Again, they're not sponsoring this content here that you're reading, uh, but I did get this for free. So take that with whatever you will. Grain of salt, salt if you will. All right. That's it. God bless you. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.